YT Dan Duel Links is brought to you by Dank Duelists Like You. Become a YouTube member to never miss. What's going on my boys? YT Dan back again with another Duel Links video. And today I have a special guest with me today. The master of disaster, Jinzo Class Duelist. Mario ZRG. What's good, my boy? Welcome to the stream or video. Hey, how are you stream. doing, man? Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm doing thanks good. for having me. Excited to be here, man. Good, man. I'm glad because I was looking in the comments in the chat and now they were asking, it was like, who do you want uh, to be on the stream? And it was like, get my boy Mario. Oh, <laughs> snap. Yeah, hey. so, so, so shout out to your subscribers for, uh, <laughs> for shouting out that they wanted you in uh, one of these videos. Hey, they make it all happen, man. <laughs> a wholesome, wholesome. But now we're gonna get in here, my boy. We're gonna uh, take a look at Flames of the Heart mini box. Now, I did a video earlier talking about Flames of the Heart and just some of the newer cards um, that was coming in, uh, like Yoko the Graceful uh, Maikashi. And uh, I know that you didn't get a chance to take a look at this box like very thoroughly, but like, uh, what is your like thoughts on just like the things that you saw, just kind of like your overall opinion of it so far? So uh, I, I'm not gonna lie, when I first opened Duel, cause you know, we all have a routine in the morning, wake up in the morning, check out what's going on. I actually got, I wanna say it was your notification. And that's how I knew there was a new box out. Okay. So I took a look and <laughs> I was my late, immediate late. impression was uh, <laughs> skip. But <laughs> <laughs> looking at it a little bit thoroughly, uh, it's actually very interesting. I think it being a mini box, uh, it's definitely appealing since we have a couple of new things. So for anyone that tries to build them, you know, you don't have to dig at a lot of places. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm excited to look these cards over, man. What do you want to yeah. start with? Yeah, I mean, we can definitely start anywhere. Um, I think, but the one of the biggest things uh, is on everybody's mind is the new sheer new uh maikashi combos uh since yes. you know they're fire zombie monsters and uh you know they have all different types of special effects in terms of synchro summoning but what do you think you know about this particular archetype because this is clearly you know like the uh like like the chase archetype inside the box if that makes sense yes yeah, so uh originally um it, it was a little puzzling for me to see sheer Nui support because the deck is still really, really strong, right? So my my thoughts were, well, is Kami gonna try to nerf them coming up so that, you know, people buy the new stuff or is the new stuff even gonna be worth running? Um, yeah, the the only thing I see, the, the only conflict I see in like, I think Shiranui Solitaire in particular, it's gonna be part of this deck, right? Like it, it's just yeah. too good not to run it. You're gonna search your Daki and then that gives you access to uh, the Shiranui story. But as far as combining the two, if you think about it, in uh, at least in my opinion, in the, in the Majakashi archetype, you have to like scale up. So you have to run at least a five, a seven and a nine. And then that really hinders what, you know, what else you have for the Shiranui extra deck. I think yeah. that that's probably why it's not gonna work as well you know when it comes to mixing them together just be the lack of extra deck space yeah now that you actually are kind of speaking to it do you think that this deck is going to be like worth running like over shiranui do you think it's going to be like the quote unquote shiranui replacer like what do you think about it so far i i don't think it's going to replace shiranui man um shiranui is like a proven deck already it's it's very cheap to build because it's also in just a mini box yeah um but i do think it's very interesting because i was looking at um at the other cards and when you look at uh mayakashi return it's yeah. uh i think it's the first sr spell yeah mayakashi return right there? yeah right here yeah that one this card is really good because it, it basically it, it it reminds me a little bit of um the uh diamond core you know you just get everything that you want to the hand yeah um, you have to shuffle something back though. Okay. Um, oh no, I'm sorry. No, you take one Majakashi card from your deck. Yeah, you just add a, add a card to your deck or send it to the graveyard. So this is your combo starter because if you mm. if you use return to get, um, what am I thinking of? 
Um, the little ice Majikashi. I think they have it in the example combos. If you oh, go yeah, up. I know you're talking about this one. Yeah, so um, you can either send this to the grave or have it in your hand. Okay. And then, you know, you're going to use your solitaire or you already have your Daki. Um, as you scale up, let's see, you start three and then you go five, seven, nine. Because, you know, every time you summon one of the synchros and the Daki hits the grave, you get to summon it right back. Right. So that's how you keep scaling up. And at the end, when you hit, um, when you summon the level nine, the graceful Mayakashi, then you're still gonna have a Daki on the field, right? Yeah. And why is that good? Because if you look at the other spell, Mayakashi Winter, you can then just activate the Winter, send the Daki that's just in the, you know, in the field doing nothing, and you draw one card. So. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. That's it, actually it when you lay it out there. like that. That's pretty spicy. Yeah. And, and, then, and, and the then winter, you get, um, then you get a little control also, once you get the synchro out. Yeah, and plus you get to use winter the following turn from your graveyard to special summon anything that's already in your graveyard. So when you bring back one of those synchros, um, you know they each have a different effect. You can destroy a card. I think yeah. you mill. Um, I think he yeah, destroys I think and uh, do do forget what he does I think he, search, I think he searches or something I, I just he, don't remember. that's the level five yeah i think he level mills five. three so yeah. it, it, they do similar things as shirinui um you know as far as graveyard play and all that i don't know it'll be interesting especially now that um you know no mortal can resist is not just destroying graveyard decks you're gonna be able to yeah. run this uh, maybe with some light swords or something like that. Uh, yeah, and, but, and clearly that was why no mortals had to go because they was planning yes, on dropping these. They're about to release copies. something. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, wait, they we got to protect our own investment. She did <laughs> return to the street. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so look, so now that you gave like the breakdown on that, like what is your thought on these Goki cards? They do have like the bread and butter Goki combo, which is, mm -hmm. you know, suplex, you go into uh twist cobra and then you can go ahead and use goki iron claw and pretty much make one monster go all the way up to like 3900 um yeah a lot of people um, was talking about uh iron claw and was pretty much like said surprise he was a rare it was even put in dual link so i mean do you have any thoughts there so the the thing about this is uh it sounds really good right 3900 attack monster but if I feel like every anything can stop this combo, uh, especially yeah. Iron Claw, is really good. It, when you read it, it sounds amazing um, because you know you get attack, your monster is unaffected, but it's only a damage step card. So if they do anything to you beforehand, then you know you're gonna hit that uh, that settings that quick surrender button, <laughs> and then you're gonna be out of it. That Canadia so, uh, in Ray. Yes, I like <laughs> I like Goki because they all search each other. Um, yeah, which is really good. Any anyone that goes from the field to the graveyard will get you a search. Uh, and they they're can't beaters. Search. Yeah, they they can't search themselves, but they'll search each other. Um, I, some of the things that I was thinking, maybe because they're a warrior deck, you can throw uh, Silent Swordsman in there. You know, you yeah. you tribute from the field, get a search. Um, but other than that, I, it, it feels very incomplete, man. Uh, yeah. I didn't see anything too good. They got two spells that, yeah. uh, and, uh, I think one is like, it's like definitely not, uh, oh, they have Goki face turn actually. Yeah. So it face says, turn. Yeah, target one Goki, mo Goki car you control and, uh, one Goki monster in the graveyard, destroy that monster on the field. And if you do special summon the other monster from the graveyard yeah, so, so this is actually so this, pretty good for otk yeah this is not bad the only problem is that it's it like imagine it if this was a quick, quick play, play spell. yeah yeah it would be almost like mass change or you know that six samurai spell yeah but being a normal uh i don't know how good it's gonna be yeah and the other, actually might as well go ahead and just drop that r and go ahead and make it an end <laughs> <laughs> yeah the <laughs> other where is the other goki one i think it's right down the middle um, cage match there we go yeah goki cage match okay yeah that was the uh, second goki card so this one is a spell uh it's a feel spell let's see this card is activated place three counters on this card if your goki monster destroys important by battle remove one counter once per turn at the end of the battle phase 
if the last of these cannons has been removed. Ooh, so you gotta destroy three monsters <laughs> before <laughs> you get to use that second effect, which lets you special summon <laughs> as many monsters with different names from your hand or deck. And it's gotta survive the cosmic type cosmic yep. cyclones, uh, dragon spirit of white, beast <laughs> yes. spells, uh, typhoon. Penguin Soldier number one. It's got to dodge all that stuff. Yep. And then <laughs> even <laughs> and then especially you Penguin monsters. Soldier number one. And kill three monsters. <laughs> and then you can finally have your Goki Cage match. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so so I guess I that's, not gonna, that's not going to work out for him. Maybe they're more of an engine. Work. Yeah, I, that's what I was thinking. I think for an engine that lets you replenish your cards... Um, you know the level three might be interesting if you throw him in like a like a synchro deck with the psychic wielder. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, you get a nice synchro and then you get to replace it with another uh, Goki. Yeah. Uh, so maybe there's something there, but at, by themselves, the, I, I don't. I'm not feeling them. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, they're not like really pushing the limits. So now we also got some other interesting support with like mm -hmm. Evil Sword. But before we jump into that, I want to talk about this one off. I want to talk about Sky Striker Mecha Eagle Booster. Now, for a lot of you guys that don't know about the TCG, this is one of the most prominent uh, Link centric decks. It's pretty much this like uh, Space Mecha Waifu. That's what they used to call her uh, back when I was playing local back in the good old days before the Rona came a stroller. But you know, it just kinda is what it is. So this deck is really, really, really good. But I'm surprised to see even a single card because all the cards from this uh, archetype are pretty broken. I guess, honestly, this might be the more tame one because they literally have cards that are pretty much snatch steals. They have cards that can destroy. Oh, we already do have the other one, actually. We have the uh, ultra rare, uh, the UR one that can destroy a Speller Trap, right? Uh, yeah, the Jamming Waves. If you control no yeah. monsters in your main monster zone, target one set Spell Trap card in the field and destroy it. Then if you have three or more spells in your grave, you can destroy one monster on the field. Um, I think the only issue I see with this, especially with the Eagle Booster, yeah. is that it says if you control no monsters in your main monster zone. Yeah. And that's all we have. So basically, you have to target an opponent's monster and then you protected his monster and then you also protect him by <laughs> battle if you have three spells <laughs> in the grave. <laughs> yeah so that's what i'm saying like i'm just surprised that they would even put this in here like like literally of all the cards that this archetype has even yeah. having some of the most powerful cards like snatch and steal type of cards and destruction mm -hmm. cards you just add in the one card that's completely impossible to use Period. Yeah, <laughs> like, and it's know. a rare. It's not even like a troll normal, you know. Um, yeah. Maybe this is just like you know breadcrumbs leading to possible links coming to the game. I don't know, man. That could yeah. be. Yeah. Maybe they want to get you just set up so you can be all stocked up with all the rares you need, so yeah. that when they finally drop the links, uh, they'll be like, "Yeah, go back to that one mini box years <laughs> ago." and pick it up <laughs> like, they will I'm, I'm refuse to reprint to it do the same with obedience school like once we get xc's it's like oh yeah go back to land of the titans get you some baboons and pick up that <laughs> obedience school <laughs> basically like i don't i really i really kind of feel like they're this is kind of like something like they're just kind of giving you a little nudge just kind of going, huh, huh, hey, hey, you know, this yeah. might be a possibility. Y'all recognize this? Yes. But I do kind of feel like, honestly, that this card, like, I kind of, I'm just kind of starting to feel like Lynx is going to come before it exceeds for some reason. I know that no really? one's ever really said that anywhere, but that's just kind of been my own little random theory, only because they've been seeding these kind of cards. And I feel yeah. like Lynx will... I mean, I don't, I'm sure that they're not trying to quote unquote make the world collide like link this directly to TCG. But I think putting out links just kind of boosts the gameplay up just a little bit faster. So I yeah. don't know. But I mean, that's just something I always just been thinking as they keep releasing these link error cards. But that's maybe well, because they, I've been playing. They don't really have Evo. many options, right? I don't think, I personally don't think they're going to bring pendulums just yeah. because you have to change the field and everything um so if they're not going xc's then the the only other option would be uh to give us links right 
Yeah, I mean, I kind I kind of feel like they're gonna skip Exceeds also because we still don't have a, a prismatic hazy flame sphinx, and until that <laughs> happens, we're definitely not gonna get Exceeds. Hey, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, also, let's take a look here at these evil osar. So in all the uh, mini boxes, there's always just like a. I, I kind of feel like they just have like a poor man's deck in each mini box <laughs> and, and, and i mean lucky this must be the evil stars this time i think we did get you know that uh roaming duelist event also gave us some of this support, or gave some people some of this support. well yeah i, I didn't, didn't i didn't get any support anything, yeah. <laughs> so i guess it's just definitely gonna stay the poor man's uh yeah. poor man's archetype nobody's gonna play that go ahead and get your fire reaper and uh call it a day <laughs> <laughs> also there was just some standalone zombie support too we did kind of already talk about the one that lets you synchro from the hand but this <laughs> joint is another monster that's pretty much one of those level three monsters that can uh go into a synchro and you can special summon this is a level four or lower zombie so does that mean you can just keep bringing this back yes uh you can actually keep looping this guy uh there's a lot of degenerate uh loops in the TCG that revolve around this card. Oh, man. Um, I don't think we have anything that will make it, you know, degenerate like that, but it's definitely very interesting because... Um, what about those level three tuners that you can special summon? Uh, like those wheel tuners? It's like one that says if yeah. it's a level three, you can summon another one? Yeah, so you would... Um, well, the wielder, I don't think you can special summon it twice. Uh, you'd have to normal one of them. But there might be another one. Uh, right now it's escaping my mind. But yeah, that turbo level six deck, um, this card would work pretty well for that, I think. Yeah, that would be I was also thinking, uh, you know, this card was mainly used to go into, for example, a level five synchro monster that was also a tuner. And then mm -hmm. you would just get this right back and go into a level eight. Oh, but, um, okay, I see what you're saying. I, I can't think of anything that we have uh, that's kind I of don't like even that, think right? we have a tuner synchro monster, do we? So we have, uh, we have the little dolphin. No, actually, no. That guy is only when he comes back, he becomes a tuner. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you could technically still use it in, um, you know, in zombie synchro decks right now. Yeah. Just because it, it fits, it, you know, it gives you another body on the board at worst. Hmm. But do you think it's going to be critical to any zombie decks that we currently? have like already in the meta do you no, or do you think it's gonna like create some new kind of zombie deck or you think it's just kind of like a meh i think right now i would say this is pretty meh until we get mm. um a little bit more zombie love but mm. you know i like i i don't mind cards like this because these are the type of cards in my opinion that when the box comes out everyone's like oh that's that's left in the box let me reset and then <laughs> something happens and you're like, why did I not get three of these? Yeah. And then you go back and spend your money. Yeah. Well, actually, or it's just the, uh, <laughs> it's the counter to the real super that you want so that they can put this one at the bottom to make sure yeah. that you never pull it unless you buy the whole box. <laughs> that is true. So there's also that conspiracy as well. No, there was one that you were really, uh, kind of excited for. And you were telling me about Gizmek Yada. So what, what are your thoughts on Gizmek Yada? So Gizmek, I think it's it's probably the, the hidden gem in this box. I, you know, it's an ultra rare, so it's kind of hard to say that I, an ultra rare is, is a hidden gem. It's just, it's so versatile because, it, you know, it's, its requirements are, are nothing. It's a normal summon monster. So it's not going to be tied down to any archetype specifically. It's not going to be tied down to any uh, monster type specifically. And, and I think that's really good. Um, if you think about the, um, what were we talking about? The go keys, yeah. you know, you can tribute the go keys to, to, to get a search. If that's all you can do there, there's a lot of monsters that you tribute to gain advantage. Um, we're getting a new Gaia monster. So, you know, the Gaia there, we have a couple Gaia's that oh, yeah, have effects. Gaia. Yeah, they have effects when tributed. Um, you know, you can tribute to search, you can tribute to destroy, you can tribute to draw. Th there's a ton of cards already in the game that would function well with this. And then not only that, after you, you know, after you special summon this, you can you can follow up with another normal summon 
as long as it's the same type as the monster you tribute it. This card is gonna be fun to use um, mm. in a lot of different decks, so I'm excited for that. Oh, that's actually pretty spicy. Yeah, anything to kind of push the synchro thing into like the next level. That's kind of why I feel like the link thing might be a possibility sooner rather than later because the synchros are getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And I really feel like, for example, Sun Saga kind of changed the game up because, you know, you got this monster that can summon is 3,500, you know, yeah. with it being 3,500, you know, you can't kill it normally. There's like one or two Shinui monsters in the graveyard. Um, and the, pretty much the only way to beat it is to put it face down and do something to it. And, yeah, you uh, gotta banish it. You gotta do something outside yeah. the norm. And not every deck is built to do, you know, something like that. So you got you have some decks that basically auto lose to uh, the Sun Saga. Yeah, just because um, it can't die. Overall, like I said, um, I think the the Maya Kashi is the is, is definitely the standout. Is the thing that you can build, you know, from this box. I think the the Goki it's. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, it makes me a little sad. I think they're they're gonna be good to recycle, but the, you're gonna you're gonna be using them with something else. It's not gonna be, yeah. you know, a Goki OTK probably. Um, Shiranui, it, it. I don't know if they necessarily got way better, but now the deck has way more options, right? Um, yeah. Which is always scary because uh, I don't they're know. They're already Shiranui, doing so well. Yes, that you know they already have Sun Saga. You were just talking about how strong of a monster that is, and now you have options to bring him back or speed up getting to it. Yeah. So now that we're pretty much at the end of this one, my boy, you know what? What is your final thoughts? You said you were in or out on this one. You were skipping it. Um, I, I no, I can't skip it because you know people are gonna want to see me play some of this stuff. But I think if you if you are budget or free to play, I think you should skip this. I think if you if you have to invest in a box, uh, and it's gonna be a mini box, just invest in the Shiranui box. Yeah. Um, from the look of it, Shiranui is going to be better than the uh, Mayakashi, and I don't think you're gonna need the Magikashi cards per se to make your Shiranui deck better. Yeah. Uh, but you know, I could be wrong, so wait it out. Wait, yeah. you know, give it a couple weeks or so. Maybe somebody will figure Check out. Check out the videos. Combo. Yep. Watch, yeah. You know, make sure you like and subscribe. All that good stuff. You know, watch some live streams. Subscribe to my boy Mario ZRG, etc. Hey, <laughs> but yeah, my boy, I appreciate you for coming on this video and just you know just giving your thoughts. You know about some of these new cards. And uh, yeah, I definitely have you back for some other collaborations in the future. Um, oh, that but, sounds good. So is there anything you want to plug or anything you want to, uh, you know, get some shout outs to say hi to your, to say hi to your mom, you know, any other stuff? <laughs> well, you know, I just want to say hi to everyone who watches my stuff. I know we have some of the same fans, which is really good. Uh, but definitely if you guys would like to see me with your boy, Dan, or you would like to see the boy, Dan in my channel, let us know in the comments, make sure you like this video yes. so that we know you want more of this. And other than that, that's it, man. Take it away. All right, my boys. I appreciate everybody coming for watching. And as always, keep it day. Yeah, yeah, yeah.